<laughs> hey guys, I am Ashna. I'm Ashna. <laughs> um, I know I haven't filmed a video like this in a really long time, so it's really awkward. I just got back from India, like, yes, two days ago? Well, yeah, two days ago. Yes, I landed Wednesday night, and today is Friday. So, yeah, and I'm sorry if I look really swollen and if I look like a chipmunk, it's because I got my wisdom teeth removed. Like one over here and then two up here. And if I sound really different, it's because, you know, my stitches, like I can't really open my mouth. And I can't, you know, I, I feel like I have to like, I can't be loud. Like I have to be really, I have to talk really, you know, like I have to tone it down a lot, which is really unusual for me. And second, like I have, well I had, I still have. Well I had flu and I'm like now it's just like congestion. And I just took a shower so like my hair is all wet. I haven't moisturized, my lips are chapped. <laughs> but today I'm gonna, I'm just gonna do makeup. I'm gonna put makeup on myself. Um, I felt like, for like the past couple months, like I just haven't, you know, done crazy. I'm not gonna say crazy, but I feel like I haven't done you know, really good colorful makeup like I haven't put time into it like I haven't you know like every time I'm doing makeup I'm either like rushing or like you know just I'll just like stick to one thing because I know it saves time like I haven't experimented there you go even like my whole India trip like I packed very very light like the last time I went to India for my brother's wedding Karan Bhai's wedding I literally took a whole suitcase of makeup. I was so indecisive. I was like, I don't know what I'm gonna like. Like, I don't know if it's gonna match with this outfit. And I was like, I might even do, you know, someone else's makeup. So I was like, I want options. This time, <laughs> dude, I had one night to pack because I had exams. Like, I, I had exams, um, you know, like the first week of December. And I left on the 6th. And I had exams till the 5th of December. And I had, you know, like the evening of pretty much December 5th to pack everything and I had the flight on the 6th morning. In India I pretty much just, you know, I just stuck to like neutral makeup like even though like at my other brother's wedding, not by, um, you know, I was wearing like, my, my outfits were so nice and like so beautiful but like, like my makeup was just, you know, very neutral. I mean it was glam but just very neutral, like very, very natural. Also, yeah, like I, I, I don't know who I am now because like I, like, I used to, like, wear makeup every single day. And, like, for the past couple months, like, like, there are days when I'm, like, I don't even, like, do anything to my face. Like, I have gone a whole week without wearing makeup, which is so weird because I'm obsessed with makeup. And that's just not me. <laughs> like, I really want to just, you know, go in my collection and pick out things that I haven't used lately. Things that I really, really want to use. Um, and things that, like, you know, I, like, newly purchased and have just haven't gotten the time to use them so I'll be right back okay, so I pretty much just like grabbed a bunch of stuff so I have my train case right here uh, right there. with like all my you know palettes and like just I don't know I just like organized it like randomly and like then I organized this stuff so like over here I have like the foundations and like face primer stuff. I have my concealers here and like liquid face highlighters. Then I have um, like eyeshadow, like glitter and stuff, metallic eyeshadows and glitters. I have my lipsticks right here and my eyeliners and mascaras and eyeshadow primers. And this is what it looks like. Like this is like very organized honestly. Like, like when I came in Wednesday night, India like my room was a disaster because the night before I mean the, like yeah the day before I left I was packing and stuff oh my gosh I just like threw everything everywhere like there was like clothes on the floor and I can't talk there was like clothes on the floor and like my makeup was just sitting on this whole desk and I like and I have a big ass desk so it was insane so first thing I'm gonna just like put my hair up it doesn't get in the way and it's like dripping wet but I, I don't I whoa 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 that hurt um I stopped blow-drying my hair like it's been like over two years now 
Like, it's just too damaging. And I really don't, I'm like, I don't want that. Holy shit, my nose is dry. Okay. I'm gonna use my Frisali Rose Gold Elixir. This stuff smells amazing. It smells like um that orange candy. No, I'm not candy, orange chocolate, orange flavor chocolate. I'm gonna use my Marc Jacobs coconut primer. I'm just gonna shake this. Haven't used this in a while. Like that's the thing, like with me. I like I have bought so many things. But just you know. I haven't used them. And my lips are so chapped. Oh man. For primer, even though this is a glitter primer from NYX, I'm still gonna use it on my eyes. Um, I, t I typically don't really, you know, use eyeshadow primers like every single day. But since it's like really dry here in the US, um, like, you know, like, I feel like every time I'm blending my eyeshadow, it's like I'm tugging on my eye. Um, I can't even talk. Pause. <clears throat> Modern Renaissance. Ooh, so pretty. Look at that. I literally bought this like right away. And do you see like I barely used it. I must have used this for like a week. Heartlet and bloom palette. I'm gonna use like the white shade right here to like set my primer. <clears throat> this is not really a tutorial, it's more like a get ready with me using all the makeup that I haven't used but I have purchased so I really need to use. I'm gonna start with this. Oh look! Broke my nail! I'm gonna take this shade right here. Wow, way to slam my door. Um, This is the shade I'm gonna use. The color is called burnt orange. I feel like I'm talking, I'm like mumbling, and I'm really not. Like I'm really tr trying to be really clear and loud, but just I just can't because in order for me to do that, I have to like open up my jaw completely, and I can't because I have fucking stitches right here. Just code with me, please. It's like the past two days, I've been going to sleep like 7 p.m., 8 p.m. <laughs> Like, I'll wake up at like 4 a.m. or like 2.30 a.m. I'm like, what do I do now? So I'll just like stay in bed because it's like so cold here. So I'm like, I'm just gonna stay in bed and like watch something. So I've been like binging on all the YouTube that I've missed for like, the past two weeks. Now I'm gonna take this color, Cypress Umber. And, ah, oh, my sinus. Oh man, it's not. It's it's like not a good day. I broke my nail while cleaning my room and I'm like almost about to break this nail too. And like these are my real nails. So when they break, like they just don't break. Like they like, like they tear off my nail basically. And it's, oh man, so painful. And like on the flight, like I had like the worst fucking experience with Delta. So I was just like, fuck you. Like, I was just so, like, sassy and, like, mean. Like, I just, I was not happy. Like, I was sick. Like, I had the flu. I had fever. Like, I couldn't talk. I was hungry. I, I was reading Malala's book while on the flight. And it was really, like, I'm almost done with it. Like, seven, like, oh, 80% done with the book. But, oh my god, like, I was... Like, you know, so into the book, like I was reading and reading and reading and like I was crying at the same time because like her story was just so moving, like, I don't know, it was just like, I felt like I was, you know, living my past because back when I was in India, like, you know, I saw the, the news about the Prime Minister, or no, I think the President of Pakistan, uh, Ben Nazar, like I can't say her name, I don't even know how to say her name But I read about, well I watched her, you know, car crash or whatever on TV when I was like little Like my dad was like, oh look, blah blah, like I saw it And at the same time, like you know, when I was reading her book Malala mentions the prime the president <laughs> And like Malala talks about like watching Bollywood shows and like Bollywood movies And I was like, ah, duh I think I'm gonna play with this color Venetian red. What was I gonna say? Oh, yeah. Well, you know what? Um, I was just like thinking about it this morning. 
like my favorite like makeup look like my I think the boldest makeup look in the whole world for me or for like many people is like wearing red eyeshadow it's just like you can't just like fucking slather it on like you have to like you know make it look so nice like it's 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 not for beginners you know it, like it takes you like you need skills like you need practice and like you need to know like how to wear red eyeshadow and this is like not even that red it's more like it's not red. I mean, it, it's red, but it's more like a berry color. It's still nice. And I'm gonna go back and blend everything in. I'm gonna take a little, like a teeny tiny bit of this red ochre. Oh my god, my nani. She makes the best okras ever. Like Bindanu Shak. Like, she makes the best. The best Nano Shock ever. And while I was in India, like she made it for me. And I was so happy. And it was before like I had to get my fucking wisdom teeth removed. So which was great. Like I really wasn't planning on getting these removed. Like I really wanted to like enjoy my food <laughs> in India. I felt like I gained so much weight. <laughs> I was in India. I was eating like every freaking hour. But I'm glad like you know I got to eat okras like before I got my removed because after I got it removed like I could not eat anything like all I ate was like ice cream and like this pure liquid diet I ate dosa though but like you know like I had to eat them like really slow and like I just ugh, not happy like I wish like I ended my trip with like Manchurian because Manchurians are like my favorite ever like even like the last time when I went to Garantai's wedding, like, oh man, like, once you're in, like, love of my life, so good. And they're so bad, like, no, they're actually not that bad for you. They're just, like, fried vegetables, like, fried vest, like, fried vegetable balls. <laughs> oh man, that sounds so gross. Overall, I would say my India trip was, was really nice. Um, you know, minus, like, me getting my teeth removed and, like, minus me getting sick. It was pretty, pretty amazing. I'm trying to find my tiny little brush. And there it is. I'm just gonna highlight my inner corner with this. And I'm gonna use uh, Primavera. Oh, yes. <laughs> I typically just like stick to more golden shades. For foundation, I'm gonna use my Hourglass foundation. For face brush, I guess I'll use this. It's like the little makeup brush that Neil got me for my birthday. <laughs> it's pretty cute. I haven't used this foundation in a long, long time. Also, like the mainly, mainly, the main reason I bought this foundation was because this foundation released at the same time as they released the Anastasia foundation, like the ABH stick foundations. And I really just like wanted to like you know see which one's better. Like the undertone, like I like this one better. It's more golden, like, I really like everything golden. Hmm. Okay, I really have to be really gentle around this area. Because it starts to hurt. My skin is so dry, like, I really need to exfoliate. Because, <clears throat> like, my dry skin over here is, like, grabbing onto the product. Which is not good. I think Arthi and I are gonna go watch Jumanji tonight. Hopefully I can stay up. <laughs> oh man, because I keep falling asleep like freaking 7 p.m. I'm gonna use my Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer. I think it's like it's like pretty much just gone. Let me see. Nope. Yeah, it's just empty. I'm gonna just use my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. Like you can't ever go wrong with this. Shade um, ginger. It's like my face color, pretty much. If you use like a highlighting concealer, like right away on your dark circles, like it just makes everything look gray. Is that my phone? Oh, that hurt my mouth. Sorry. Um, what I was saying before I fucking got interrupted was, um, like using a concealer that's like that matches your skin tone first and then applying like a highlighting concealer makes a big big difference doing 
this, like applying a skin color and then like a light concealer, like really covers up your dark circles. But if you just only use the lighter concealer, like this, the highlighting concealer, then it kind of tends to make your under eye look more gray as to like covering it up. Like I've also tried using, um, where is it? Like the correctors and stuff, but I have like, I'm, I'm pretty like light skin, like my I'm not that dark. So every time like I use something orange underneath my eyes, like you could tell that I'm using something orange. Like it's, I have a hard time like, you know, covering it up. For powder, I'm gonna use my favorite ever, the Laura Mercier translucent powder. But I really, I, I've like, I broke the whole container. That's what it looks like. I broke the side of it. Well, I didn't break it. It just like broke on its own. But I'm taking the responsibility because it's my product. So I can't really travel with this anymore. And I typically just travel with the RCMA powder. It's like easy to carry. And yeah, yeah when I'm recording. Yeah. Yeah. I and mean, I'll come eat in like 30 minutes. Mm. Uh, heart. <clears throat> so my favorite face powder is by Cover FX. It's the mineral pressed mineral foundation in shade G50. Like it's a shade dark. Uh, it's a shade darker than my actual skin tone. But I actually like that because it. I feel like it puts life back into my face. Like it adds a little bit of color and just you know makes me look alive. <laughs> For contouring, I'm just gonna use my Physician Formulas. Butter bronzer, which smells amazing, and it broke. Well, some of it broke. I mean, the product is like still there. It didn't have a safe flight. Like as soon as like I was like you know back to do my makeup in India and like open my bags and like everything's like shattered. I'm like, oh. I'm glad like the whole powder like you know didn't shatter. Like only parts of it did. So it's still usable. Like I mean, I got this for free. This shade is called like Party. Amazon Clay 12 Hour Blush. I mean, I love the color, but I, like more than the color, I love the formula. Like, oh man, it blends so nicely and it stays on your face. Especially in India where it was like hot as fuck. For a highlight, I'm gonna use my Tardis Pro Glow Palette. Use the shade Stunner. Ooh, nice. Y'all see the glow? fan brush to just, you know, intensify it a little bit. Like, I've been using two brushes to highlight my face now, and like, I feel like that really makes a difference. Especially like my nose, like, it's really easy to highlight my nose with this fan brush. And like, my forehead, just a little bit. I'm quickly gonna do my eyebrows, and I'll be right back. So let's do my lower lash line eyeshadow. The same red, the Venetian red right here. Like pack it on first. I'm gonna take my blending brush and blend the edges. The same highlight that I use in my inner corner. I'm just gonna like put some my lower lash line, just so you know, like opens up the eye a little bit more. This Kiko Kiko eyeliner in shade um, Matita Gucci. Is that a shade? I don't know. Maybe it's a different language, I don't know. The number is four. You see that? It's like a nice reflective red. I'm gonna line my waterline with this. Oh man, it matches my eyeshadow so nice. Um, maybe I should also do my... That's my last line. <sighs> this is really awkward. Oh man, it hurts my jaw for some reason. I'm gonna use my Maybelline. Line stiletto in shade brownish black. Like yesterday, I used my Tarte Amazon clay eyeliner. You know how like you have to like squeeze the product out. I squeezed it so hard that like the whole top of the thing, like the top of the tube, just like broke and it like hit my wall. And I have liner all the way on my carpet to my wall. And they got on my clothes. And it was so hard to clean up this morning. Also, follow me on Instagram if you don't already. 
I post some really cool pictures once in a while. I'm gonna use my unicorn. Let's <gasps> come on. It's from Tarte. Lights, camera, lashes. It was like a limited edition packaging. They had like this unicorn, um, what you call it? Unicorn theme shit going on summertime. So I bought it, of course. Like I've actually used this mascara before, like in a different packaging. And I was pretty impressed. Like I actually liked it. I just didn't repurchase it. I don't know why. Like to me, I feel like drugstore mascaras like do the job. So I typically don't tend to whoa spend that much money on like just mascara. Cause like every mascara at like Sephora is like at least twenty dollars or more, you know? And sometimes I'm like it's not even worth it. I mean I, I buy everything like, you know, first time just to try it on, but I only repurchase products that like I actually like. I guess I'll wear this deep crappy shade um by ColourPop. It's called LAX. <clears throat> With ColourPop eyeshadows, I mean <laughs> eyeshadows. lipsticks. Like I always need a lip brush. It's just I just don't like the applicator. It's just not as precise as I would like it to be. Since I want to make my makeup last, I'm gonna use my Urban Decay All Nighters. Mm. Anti frizz hair serum from Garnier my hair like in India my hair was like so frizzy and plus like it's so hot that like you know you do like you spend so much time and effort into doing your hair and like like the sweat just like takes everything away ow do I need to brush my hair man that hurts okay also I don't brush my hair <laughs> okay 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 this is the final look but thank you for watching and listening to me talk even though I can't talk, and I probably sound like a mumbling. I probably am. <laughs> but I'll see you guys in my next video. <laughs> Alright, bye.